Step one, uh, remove the hard drive cover located here and next uh, you can simply pull out this um, um, fan grill so take this off uh, take out the hard drive next uh, grab your XEM or X tool uh, this pointy pin uh, tool set and what we'll be doing just simply push it up from here slide it in and then there are these pin clips that you're unclipping simply and then there's one hidden under this belt unclip that unclip it so these come off basically what's happening here is um, what are you doing you're putting the clip in and going in like that and pushing it that way and lifting it up so that's the actual uh, that's what you're doing on all these clips so simply sliding this pin in pushing it that way and lifting it up same here same there so these are on all these six clips so that's done. Next step, uh, uh, there's another grill here that we need to remove. So grab your Phillips uh, flathead screwdriver, simply place it anywhere there, and you can gently just pull it up, and then you can simply lift this grill off. So this comes off. Next, again, there are six clips in there. Uh, same technique we'll be using. Uh, and grab it from this side and then slide this in and push it that way and lift up. There's a bit of a guesswork there. Uh, okay, so this comes off again. This is what you're doing. So, placing this pin in these one, two, three, four, five, six holes. So, slide the pin in, push it that way, and lift it up on all of these. So, that's the actual, this is the whole, that's what you'll be you're doing. Okay, once that comes off, so, uh, remove the Wi Fi connector uh, there's a Torx screw in there so simply unscrew it so this comes off uh, it's it's, uh, it's basically connected by USB so simply uh, take this off okay next uh, uh, we'll be removing the bottom cover first uh, remove this Xbox 360 sticker okay and this side is easier you'll see these two clips here it's up to see actually so there are two clips here simply use your flathead screwdriver and unclip these two clips here uh, so the, the, as you can see so there were two clips so I simply unclip them so it comes off so that's your two clips now on this side there's one clip you can simply unclip it using flathead screwdriver but the other one is further down so first unclip the first one And once it's unclipped, um, all you need to do use your flathead screwdriver, and where the Xbox 360 sticker was, simply uh, pull it. Sorry, push this uh, flathead screwdriver in, and then that 
uh, unclips this clip here. Uh, now, as you can see, our bottom half is separated. So, simply, uh, gently pull it out if you can. Sometimes there are a few clips in there. There, so simply unclip them as well. So one. Any of the use any of your flathead or micro turn precision screwdriver. Put a few clips in there. Simply unclip them. Once it's unclip you can take off the bottom plate. So that comes off. Next there are five torques, uh, ten screws there that you need to unscrew to remove the front face plate and the top cover. So grab your um, Torx uh, screwdriver and unscrew this. Now we can simply pull out the faceplate. Uh, it's connected with this uh, cable here. So gently remove this cable from its connector, unclip it, and you can remove your front uh, faceplate. And you can easily lift up your top cover. Next, uh, remove the DVD drive. Uh, it's connected with the power cable here and uh, uh, SATA cable. So simply use your um, flathead screwdriver. Easier just to uh, remove the SATA cable and pull up the DVD drive. Next, I uh, will be removing the RF module. So there are two Torx T8 screws. So simply grab your uh, Torx T8 screwdriver and unscrew these two screws. And simply take it off. So this comes off. Next, uh, you can gently lift up this fan cover. It's just holding. Uh, there's a plus bit of a foam there. So this comes off. Uh, next, uh, there's this screw here, and then there is another screw here. So simply take these two screws off as well. So next, uh, there are more screws on the back. So what we'll be doing. Uh, Take all these screws off. Okay, next there are four small torque screws here. Um, that's the X clamp, so simply remove these screws as well. Okay, next. Now we can remove this hard drive bay area. So take this off. So that's the whole hard drive case that comes off. Um, next, just remove this as well, gently pull it up. It's just clipped in, so these are just the clips. Okay, next, the last bit is just we're gonna remove this clip. So uh, holding in with the clip. So there are two clips, there's one on this side and there's one on this side, simply just wiggle it around and you can just remove these two clips. Next uh, we can pull out the motherboard. So the motherboard comes off. That's it, our Xbox 360 is opened.